go. 16,522. We've got the big Series 1, Series 2. But I agree, their schedule is going to be tough. Very, very tough on them. You are definitely correct on that. We got a victory rookie for the Islanders of Niederreiter. And obviously I haven't paid attention. I'm presuming he's not. Is uh, Labushkin or whoever it is playing tonight? Prospol for the Rangers anniversary. Halak for the Blues victory. Uh, Mason, me and Dan are talking about it. The problem that we're having right now, Mason, and again, I, I've, I've always tried to be as straight up to you guys as possible. Burmistra for the Jets victory rookie is a lot of the products that we have right now. We don't have a lot of them. Bobby or hockey heroes for Boston. And the issue is for me to replenish some of the stock, I would literally be paying significantly more money. So victory for the Islanders of Kanopka. So the thing is, if we blow it out, or not blow it out, but if we get rid of it, Young Guns of Dwight King for LA, it might put us in a bad position to, you know, sell it, for example. Young Guns of Spurgeon for the Wild. Like, to give you an idea, I think if we sell out of SBX, Malholtra victory for Vancouver. And if we rebought it, for example, at, from our distributor... We would probably have to sell for about $340 a box. Victory rookie for the Oilers of Eberly. So you got to think, like, I don't know exactly right now what we're selling it for. I honestly just can't remember. I'll do that one after. Maybe that's a big one. But that's the issue we're having to is, like, a lot of stuff is very, very expensive to replenish. So if we do a sale on it, and we run out of our stock and we have to replenish, it's like then our prices go up quite a bit. And I don't know if that's a smart strategy, honestly. It is very gross, I agree. Canvas of Pareko for the Blues. And again, by no means am I saying that's our, a distributor problem. There just legitimately is not a lot of product out there. Rasmus Sandin for the Maple Leafs. And like, there's a lot of products... That I've seen that if we want to replace it, it's going to cost us a fortune. So that is why we're uh, careful. Shooting stars for Dallas of Sagan. Like, for example, Mason, our new, like, for me, our distributor doesn't even have it. Portraits of McDavid for the Oilers. But, like, artifacts. If we want to get more artifacts, we're basically paying about 330 bucks. McCarr. Portraits Rookies for the Avalanche. Think about that. So just on artifacts, it would be $330. Like, so what do you got to retail that for? $350, $360? Young Guns of Clifton for Boston. Like, it's just, it's near, like, so yeah, we are debating if we can do a sale. Pierre-Luc Dubois for the Blue Jackets canvas. 15-16 SBA. <laughs> Depends what you're asking, but Mason, we could always use products. Uh, Ryan Kachuk Shabbat. And a gold of Skinner Eichel Dahlin. Buffalo. Like, legitimately, Mason, I'm more than happy to entertain that. If the price is fair and we can do something with it, I am uh, legit more than happy. Everything comes down to pricing. I said, we are interested in any box that anyone has as long as the pricing is good and fair. And fair on both ends, to be clear. <laughs> Portraits for the Vancouver Canucks of Pedersen. Young Guns for the Rangers. Craps off. Canvas for the Devils of Jack Hughes. Huh. 
But yeah, that's why you're not seeing many sales anymore because the problem is if you sell it all, you got to rebuy it back. Mantha for the Red Wings. Game jersey. Canvas for the Capitals of Carlson, which is, again, it's an absolutely good problem in the hobby right now if we're running out of products. Karusha for the Hawks. How do you determine a middle ground? Um, generally what we determine, so there's several things that we look at hockey. Dazzlers of Varzel for the Islanders. Number one, is it a sealed case or is it sealed boxes? So number, I don't like ideally buying individual boxes because I always presume cases are gone. That's not saying the person's wrong or whatever they're doing, but like, I always presume that. We've got a foodie for the Jackets. Caught Copper for the Avalanche. Bodan for the Hawks. After that, we look at what the rough going rate is. Uh, I look around the industry to see if I could get that box. And then if you were to get it, for example, like... For example, there's a lot of people who sell on eBay. So let's say that box goes for $1,000 on eBay. Well, if it goes for $1,000 on eBay, then you take your fees, let's say 15%, for the sake of conversation. So you're about 850 bucks. So the thing is, if you want me to sell that, I can't buy it for 850 because obviously if I sold it for 1000 I'm pretty much making nothing on that. Marky Rookie Blue of McNiven for the Habs. So generally, it'd probably be a fair price in between, like, on that scenario, six fifty to seven fifty, somewhere between there. Portrait of Harkins for the Jets. Marky Rookie for the Avalanche of Byram. But it also determines of what I can use it for. Some products are just too hard to use. Award winners for the Avalanche of Nathan McKinnon. Like, for example... If one person has one 15, 16 cup tin, you know, and they're asking for $6,000, well, how can I use that? Bark off for the Panthers. You know, are people going to pay $250 for a one box break of cup? Probably not. Portrait of Ingram for the Preds. Radish Young Guns for the Rangers. Canvas of Marner for the Maple Leafs. And as I said, everything always comes down to whether you can just move it. Like, that is the problem with a lot of boxes nowadays. Award winners of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Glossy. Robertson Copper for the uh, Maple Leafs. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche Glossy. What's stopping them? Uh, nothing stopping them. Here's the difference I will tell you, and I will tell you this, and this is our opinion, obviously, is right now we're probably at almost a 20% rate of people not paying on eBay and all that junk that you deal with. The thing is, if you want to do it yourself, by all means. But the difference is, this is guaranteed, you know... A check type of thing, or however we want to look at cash type thing. Money in your pocket. So if you don't want to play the game of, uh, will the guy bid on it? Will he not bid on it? Is he going to pay? Portrait of Tavares for the Islanders. Is the guy going to return it? Walmart for the Carolina Hurricanes, Young Guns. Canvas of Koivu for the Wild. It also, the other thing is, let's presume you put it up on eBay. Maybe it takes a month or two or three to sell. Shining Stars for LA. Rainbow of Carter. Sometimes people want money immediately. Canvas of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. It's the angel kind of thing, Hawk, is. Would you hypothetically take seven fifty and, you know... One month, two months, three months, or would you take 700 now? Portrait of Backstrom for the Caps. And there is no right or wrong. Alex Tuck, Young Guns for Vegas. And it's also guaranteed versus not guaranteed. 
McAvoy Young Guns for Boston. Any crazy eBay buyer stories? Uh, portraits of Jost for the Avalanche. I'm trying to think. We've had a few, yeah. Shining stars of Granlin for the Wild. I would say it's a crazy one. We had a fun one where a guy didn't pay. Young Guns Canvas of Alex Tuck. So we offered him a second chance offer, the second highest bidder. He didn't want to do it. He then offered 200 lower than that and said, like, take it or leave it. So he said, no problem. Like, customer says no. Matthews for the Maple Leaf Shining Stars. We then put it on eBay as a buy now best offer. He offers 200 lower than the already 200 that he re-offered. Then we get someone else offering us $200 higher than what the card actually went on auction for. Completely random how it works, but Riley Barber, Young Guns for Washington. It was a big card. It was not a small card type thing. Yanni Kokanen for the Carolina Hurricanes, Young Guns. So yeah, the customer ended up getting $200 more uh, than it went on auction. Dougie Hamilton for the Calgary Flames. And the guy who was second highest bidder and only lost the card by, I think, $2.00. Decided to try to play games and didn't get it. Miko Koivu for the Wild. Game jersey. So that was kind of a funny one. And it was a very rare card. So canvas of Byron for the Habs. So I'm presuming the guy probably really needed it. Philip Heedle. Young Guns for the Rangers. Shining stars of Anderson for Ottawa and Mason. That is an awesome. Uh, that is an awesome uh, list. Sagan for Dallas canvas. But yeah, nothing too. Uh, nothing too crazy. Other than those kind of funny stories that they're always. There's always people who always think they can just push around or whatever it is and. We, we had a guy try to tell us that our McDavid that we have, one of our McDavid's that we have up there, is somehow going to be worth less because they might not make the playoffs. If I remember correctly, it was um, something like, I'm trying to help you. Hella buck portraits for the Jets. I'm trying to help you because we both know he's not going to make the playoffs this year. Values will drop. Josh Norris. Young Guns for the Sens. I'm like, so that's what we're getting to. You're trying to convince me McDavid's going to drop. Young Guns of Jason Robertson for Dallas. Canvas Young Guns. Those are the ones I love. You know what, honestly, though, Mason, I don't know. It, I, I, it's hard for me to predict where the hobby is going to go and boxes like that are going to go. I I don't think the young guns of Matthews and McDavid are going to get that much higher unless they both or one of them do something. Ottinger young guns for the Dallas Stars. Like, there's a lot of those young guns out there. So, I do think there's room for it to grow, but I think one or both those teams need to do something substantial. To get growth. Aho for the Canes portraits. Like I, I don't see Matthews or Mar uh, McDavid's young guns as magically just doubling. For no reason. So until they win. Dazzlers of Kachuk for Ottawa. Like that's pretty high in my opinion already. Benson portraits for the Oilers. But who the heck knows? Young Guns for the Maple Leafs of Robertson. Canvas for Florida of Huberto. Can. 
canvas of Kyle Connor for the Jets. But the other thing being honest though, Mason, if you asked me this three years ago, if Series 1 Blasters ever get past 100, I would have laughed. Reed Duke, Young Guns for Vegas, so... Yeah. So it is kind of one of those things that... I don't know. I really don't know where the market's going to go. I, I'm pretty confident, though, as I said, that one of them needs to do something substantial. Game jersey of Sean Couturier for Philly. Uh, Glenn, no, I kind of see a bit of a regression, to be honest. I think the high, high items will keep going higher. But I do think there will be a slight regression. But I think once new product comes out, that'll be a good example of what's going on. Young Guns of Joseph Wolf for the Leafs. You got to think, all those brand new collectors have come in here. We have no idea what they're doing because they have nothing to buy, really. Portraits for Vegas of Pacioretty. So until the new products start coming out, that'll be a really good gauge to see how hot the hobby really is still. Carlson for the Caps, Dazzlers. Canvas of Kachuk for Ottawa. And a Liam Foodie for the Blue Jackets, Young Guns. Yeah, a lot of things have uh, really grown. Like I said, this is by far our best year ever of MVP sales. Um, I think the hobby's still booming very, very well. And as I said, right now it's kind of a good time because a lot of product is getting uh, depleted and... I honestly think that's a good thing for the hobby. Like, I don't mind it when dealers are asking, and I don't mean they're asking, but when products are extremely high because that basically is meaning that there's very little out there, which is good for the hobby, honestly. Yellison Young Guns for Calgary. Um, I don't think it's that, Glenn. I think it's his lack of product. Portrait of Klija for the Sharks. I truly think that's what it is. It's hard to keep going crazy in the hobby when there's nothing new. Cowman Young Guns for San Jose. Young Guns, San Jose. Stuart Skinner Young Guns for the Oilers. We've got a fluorescence of Morgan Geeky. Morgan Geeky. Canvas Makar for the Avalanche. Marky Rookie Zagadulin for Calgary. Pinho Young Guns for Washington. Portrait of Krapsov for the Rangers. Oh, sick. Fanimation. John Tavares. John Tavares Fanimation. Those are insanely hard to hit. As I said, though, Glenn, the one thing we had to comment on uh, last uh, conversation we had, Marky Rookie Blue of Joseph Wool for the Leafs. I legitimately think grading will be a very, very common thing to do. Prisky for the Panthers. Like, I, I think that's going to be the norm in our industry is... People won't want to buy high end unless it's graded. Uh, Lafreniere portraits for the Rangers. I follow LA Kings canvas. A fan drew that it looks like it, doesn't it? Award winners, Dre Seidel for the Oilers. 
Marky Rookie for Philly of Ustamenko. Uh, it has not. No, if it's on the uh, group break page, it means we have not done it yet. Carter Hart for Philly Canvas. Larson for the Coyotes Dazzlers. Larmy Marky Rookie Retro for the Penguins. You know what's annoying, Golden? I don't know if you're still in the room. Marky Rookie for the Coyotes of Burke. I don't know if any of you else uh, have this problem too. So whenever I look at like stuff to bet on, Joseph Marky Rookie for the Penguins Retro. Is oftentimes my mind will look at something and I'll be like, ah, there's no way that's happening. Pogonski for the Blues Young Guns. And the one I saw was a shutout for Montreal. Johansson for Buffalo Portraits Rookies at plus 1,400. Young Guns, Tim Stutzel. Ottawa Senators. I would slightly recommend getting this one graded, guys. I know the centering on this will be off. You can tell because the Stutzel normally has the two dots above the U. And there's no dots there, which means it might not be the best. But I would, for that reason, get it graded so that way you can see what the grade would be. Killorn, Tampa Bay, Canvas. But, like, I legitimately looked at that and I was like, ah, maybe I should do that. You know, plus fourteen hundred bucks, whatever, or fourteen hundred. I was like, maybe you just never know. And then I opted not, but I'm like, ah, what are the chances? And now I'm slightly regretting it. Marky rookies for the Oilers of Paul URV. Portraits Rookies of Zaitsev for the Leafs. Marky Rookie of Aho for the Canes. Jamal Smith Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Marky Rookie for the Sharks of LeBanc. I agree with you, though I'm the exact same way. We've got a retired canvas, Mike Richter for the Rangers. Mike Richter. Retro Rookie of Surgachev for the Habs. Canvas of Rask for Boston. Do you guys think, and I'm just thinking of this because of Montreal, portraits of Lindgren for the Habs. Do you guys legitimately think sometimes players will up their game deliberately to hope to get traded around trade deadline? Rob O'Gara, Young Guns for Boston. Like, do you think a lot of these players think that in their head sometimes? Casey Nelson for Buffalo, Young Guns. Portraits Rookies, Tyler Mott for the Hawks. Update, Taylor Hall for the Devils. Marky Rookie Rainbow for the Coyotes of Strom. Canvas for Tampa of Palat. We've got a rookie materials of Sunquist. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I'm looking at Montreal going, clearly there's going to be a lot of trading chips on Montreal. Chase DeLeo, young guns for the Jets. Joel Erickson Eck for the wild young guns. I like that bet, Glenn, honestly. Simmons for Philadelphia Canvas. Like, the way I look at it, honestly. Line A retro for the Jets. My honest top four I have are Vegas, 
Florida, Kajula for the Oilers, Tampa, and uh, Colorado. Larson, Young Guns for Anaheim. And a Kyle Connor for the Jets, Marky Rookie. Again, not, not trying to knock, honestly, the Leafs at all or make excuses, but if the Leafs play Florida or Tampa in the first round, I I don't think we're better than either of those teams. I think that's a... I know everyone's going to mock it. Oh, first round loss again to Tampa or Florida is not exactly a bad team. Like... So, I, I definitely have us losing. I go Buffalo in the first round again, sadly. Young Guns Canvas, Michael Matheson, Florida. Shining stars for the Minnesota Wild. Suter. Zaitsev. Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Canvas for the Blue Jacket of Jones. This game is going off the rails. <laughs> You're pretty sure he comes with Matthews? I guess we'll find out. Nick Sorensen. Anaheim Ducks. Golden, I don't know how intently you're watching this game. And I'm not making, obviously, any excuses. I'm being completely honest here. Is this bad goaltending for Toronto as well? Again, I'm kind of just like, I see the goals. I don't really see the highlights or whatever. Is Mirazik having a bad game or is this just bad? Uh... <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Canvas of Pasternak for Boston. Oh, okay. Game jersey for the Oilers, Taylor Hall. Toronto just traded for Carter Hutton. Is that an odd, like a real thing, Mason? Young Guns Canvas, Jan Mark. I like Campbell, honestly, Glenn. I think that players play hard for Campbell. I really do believe that. Lindbergh for the Rangers. I am not really sold on Mrazic, though. From TSN, nice. What was the uh, give up? Patch are ready. For Montreal, Canvas. Sick. Clear cut superstars, Duncan Keith. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely think uh, Campbell has been playing above what he's probably, nor like, his, I'm trying to think of the nicest way to put it, above what he's probably capable of. Nick Shore, Young Guns for L.A., but I do think the players love them. We're dealing with Arizona a lot, eh? Shining stars of Taves for the Hawks. Eric Stahl for the Carolina Hurricanes. Portraits. Jamie Ben for the Dallas Stars canvas. 
Shining Stars of Kane for the Hawks. I've always wondered in future considerations how that really works. Young Guns, Daniel Sprong for the Penguins. Like, do they just go, we'll give you them, and then uh, we'll figure out something later? Like, what happens if you don't want to do a trade later with them? Bebo, Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. We've got a Subban Portraits for the Habs. I think, honestly, the Leafs got to get solid D and maybe a better backup goalie, in all honesty, if we even want to consider ourselves in contention at all. Shining Stars of Sackick for the Avalanche. <laughs> maybe, Glenn. It would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Shea Weber Portraits for Preds. Wouldn't it be kind of bad if they also could not even uh, sell it out? Nick Cousins, Young Guns for Philly. Shining Stars of Tavares for the Islanders. Calgary, actually, yeah, John, you make a good point on that one. Brodeur, Portraits for the Devils. And we've got a Kempinen for Boston Young Guns. 